LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison, you're live, blah, blah, but I'm Coach Sheldon Harrison, Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, you know, if I tell you that I'm not going to comment on a topic, that means that he's not going to say anything about the topic that you indicated that you wanted me to talk about. So let me go ahead and tell you guys, I don't care nothing about no weave-wearing wombat Jamel Hill. I don't care nothing about no Jamel Hill. I'm telling y'all clowns that I don't care nothing about no darn Jamel Hill. Now I don't care if Jamel Hill have a job. Jamel Hill ain't, ain't cut me no check. Jamel Hill and OJ, they ain't giving me no darn check. I ain't worried about them. I'm going to talk about polit politically correctness in this video. Y'all really want to know the problem is that people are too freaking sensitive. But I told y'all what generation we're dealing with. I told y'all this is that generation of young people. You know, I told y'all this is the generation that, um, you know, that 2000s generation, you know, that, 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 that 98, 2000 generation. Well, you know, you remember when they first started this whole, you know, I'm going to defend my kid, you know, no matter what generation, that generation. Well, you know, that generation now they become adults. And this is what you get. You know, you got everybody wanting to sue people. You got everybody wanting to, you know, put people under the bus with tweets. I mean, it's crazy. Like, you can't even have an opinion. You can't have a, a thought. And good or bad, everybody, everybody in the world, even, you know, the righteous person, the racist person, they, you know, everybody has an opinion. It's their right. It's everybody's right to have an opinion, no matter what color you are. But it's amazing, man. It's amazing this politically correctness is what's killing everything because people don't want to be real no more. People don't want to just tell the truth. Now, you know, on this channel, I try to keep it PG-13 because the kiddies watch, but the message don't change. I'm going to bring that truth. And whether you like it or not, that's fine, but I'm going to bring the truth. I'm going to say exactly what I say, and if you don't like it, then that's tough. Great. But see, that's why people really don't like the LDBC because the LDBC, I've noticed... We're not very politically correct. We're always on the side of, you know what, <laughs> man, I don't like what he said, but guess what? It was it was true. See, that, that that's what people, they won't tell us that. They won't tell us that we're telling the truth. They'll never tell that. But see, they'll set back behind their keyboards and all this other stupid mess. When you, when you drag these guys out to a debate, we're talking about the ones that be on the keyboard. When you try to get these guys to debate you live, they, they'll never do that. Because they can't handle the politically uncorrectness. See, when you get a person who just correct, not politically correct, just correct. See, people like that, people like myself, we're hard to deal with. We're hard to deal with on a spectrum when you're trying to argue points. Because, see, we're going to tell it to you real and raw. And, see, that's why so many of these celebrities, you know, they got too many apologies. Nah, just say what you're going to say and suffer the consequences. I mean, they, they got too many apologies, man. Everybody's apologizing. I mean, it is your right. If you don't want to stand for the flag, it's your right. I mean, I thought that's what the country was founded on, right? It was founded on having your rights, your amendment rights. But see, people, you know, tend to turn a blind eye when you start talking about it's your right, okay? People turn a blind eye. And people, if you look at, let, 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 let's, let's really look at, okay, Cam Newton. I mean, come on. I mean, do people have to be so darn stupid? Yeah, Cam Newton, they probably was being a, he's, he's a jerk. And I told y'all I met Cam Newton. Now, how is it somebody going to roll up on my channel and tell me that Cam not a butthole? Have you met him? I done met the man four times. He a butthole. Straight up, Cam Newton is a butthole, okay? I don't feel sorry for him. Good. He's a butthole. Straight up and down. So don't tell me my experience with Cam Newton, Okay? You're you not going to tell me nothing. Matter of fact, you're going to sit behind your keyboard. You're going to watch the video. Okay, you're going you gonna to type if you have to type. Or you're not going to type. Because I control the comments that come in anyway. So you can type and complain. If you see your comment on my channel, that means I let it go. So you ain't got no options. You ain't got no power. I done took everything from y'all. You're not going to tell me that I don't know Cam Newton. I, I've experienced him four times. He's a jerk. But what did he say that was so wrong? And I know some of y'all women, 
you guys will get all up in arms about what he said. I mean, what? There are not a lot of women who can who can really dig down deep in the football. You got some, but it's not a whole lot. They can just sit there and talk about plays, running routes, you know, blocking patterns, blocking schemes, you know, the gaps, holes. That you don't have a lot of women who can talk about these football terminologies with men. They just it's just not there. It's not a whole lot. And you know, people. I think people knew what Cam Newton meant. It's like you can't be human anymore. Can't be human. You can't joke. You can't say nothing because everybody gets offended over something that's nothing. Please, I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, well, he Cam's, he's, you know, he's anti-feminist and blah, blah, blah. No, well, you know what? How about this? If y'all got a problem with, with what Cam Newton said, why y'all ain't got a problem with Donald Trump? I mean, he said some very misogynistic things about women. A lot. It's the same man who said that, hey, you know, I'm going to go grab women by the pee. That's what he said. But, you know, isn't it amazing the feminist movement don't really, they're not really going in on Donald Trump like that as much as they are, what, little old Cam Newton? Are you serious? Or what about Ben Roethlisberger? You know the guy that, you know, forces women to do what he wants them to? Big Ben? Yep. What about him? I ain't seen a whole lot of backlash towards Big Ben. Have y'all? Not not much. It's called selective. It's called selective hair cry. But these people, they can't handle politically correctness. So that's why people don't like the LDBC, because we're too politically cor- incorrect. We're too politically incorrect. We spend more time trying to be correct than trying to be politically correct. And that's the problem. People don't want to be correct anymore. You don't want to be correct. If you're coaching a kid, the kid have a bad game. Oh, you did great. No, you didn't. You didn't do great. Because you didn't listen to what I said. You didn't follow instruction. So, no, you didn't do great. I'll tell a child that in a minute. Because you know why? Oh, coach, you're just going to break down their little... You're going to tear up their little psyches. and No. You're not tearing them up. <laughs> you're telling them what they got to do to get their crap together. That's what you're telling them. And then you need more parents... You need more parents. See, you know what we're dealing with? We're dealing with this generation. We're dealing with that 1999, 2000 generation. That's who we're dealing with now because they're adults now. We're dealing with them. You know, when they were kids, that's, that, that's when everything started, when they go home and they just tell their parents all kind of crazy stuff, make stuff up because you said something they didn't like. And, and really, it's, it's because of something that they didn't do or they were doing something they ain't got no business doing. See, we, we in that generation of children that's where we at now they are adults and so now as adults they can't handle truth they couldn't handle truth as kids and now as, as 25 26 year old adult they, they can't handle truth right now so this is why we get all this crap this is why we get all these people you know anybody say something a celebrity say something you say something then automatically it's offensive then they send out a tweet or they try to get you fired or any little thing yeah isn't that something isn't that something? It's crazy. But that's the whole problem. People are too polit- po- politically correct instead of being correct. I mean, what the heck, man? What the heck? Do people have to live in a box everywhere they go? I think it's better to just t- tell people the truth. I do. I think it's better to tell people the truth. Like I was standing in line, you know, I was at Walmart. And, uh, you know, these two women was, was talking to each other, and one woman was looking at her hair, and she said, excuse me, because, you know, my friend telling me my hair, you know, don't look, you know, don't look right. She said, what you think? I said, your friend right. I said, I know that sound mean, but your friend right. So, you know, she started getting mad. I said, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 sister. I said, look here. I said, don't ask me, your, don't ask me my opinion if you didn't want my honest answer. I said, I think it looks like crap. I said, I'm sorry, you know? And then I'm, I walked off. While she was still yelling and screaming, I walked off, you know? Because <laughs> I'm just going to tell it like it is. I'm going to tell it like it is. It ain't me trying to be mean. Or, guys, it's called being, okay, correct. Might not have been right, but it's called being correct. Telling that truth. Telling the truth. But I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Subscribe.